Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I always wave. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this eye look here. It is a spotlight halo eye <laughs> um, that I did and it's really pretty and I will show you what colors I used and all that good stuff. So if you want to learn how to do this eye look, then go ahead and stay tuned for the video. So today I'm going to be featuring the Pro Fusion Sultry Palette. I got it from Target for about $9.99 and it comes with a total of 24 eyeshadows. I'm starting off with Cody Airspun Powder and I'm using that to powder my eyebrows. I like to use this technique so that my eyebrows have a nice lasting finish with no shine. Now I'm going to be taking this bomb brush that comes with the Pro Fusion Palette and you see the color that I'm using. Look at the pigment. So I'm starting off with the color Ecstatic and I'm using that as my transition color and I'm just blending that out. Next I'm going to take Wonder and I'm going to place that just below my transition color. I'm then going to take a mixture of Zing and Risky and start to carve out the shape that I want to create my cut crease. And since you already know I'm about to blend for the gods. Just continue to build that color until you get your desired darkness. <laughs> I'm gonna take my NYX white base and cut it. Hey, cut it. Hey, cut it. <laughs> Go ahead and take more of Risky on an angled brush and define your cut crease. This gives a really, really dope effect to the shape of your cut crease. I'm now going to take one of the most beautiful shades I've ever seen named Ella and I'm going to put this in the center of my cut crease. It's going to give a really beautiful holographic sparkly look at the end of this. So here I'm placing Nightlife in my outer corner creating a V shape. I'm then taking some of Nightlife and placing that in the inner corner and I'm making sure to blend out the edges with a little bit of Risky. On the outer corner you can see I use a little bit more of Risky and I'm really making sure that edge is blended out. So before I start placing color on the inside of my spotlight, I like to try to measure it out visually so I don't know, I think it helps me or something. <laughs> But as you can see, I'm just taking Lagoon and I'm placing that in the middle of my spotlight in a V shape is what I'm aiming for at first. Then I'm taking more of Ella and I'm over layering that onto Lagoon and that's what gave me like this multi-dimensional, reflective, cute looking, sassy, joy. Okay. <laughs> and this is what we have so far. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning everything up. I'm taking a little bit more of my concealer on a pencil brush. I'm adding my eyeliner. I'm adding my mascara. And girl, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, okay, all right. also added some white eyeliner to highlight the look and then I made sure to set the eyeliner with some of that canny shade and I what goes up must come down so that's what I ended up putting on the bottom lash line nothing too fancy I hope you enjoyed this halo cut crease eye look thingy spotlight eye that everyone's doing these days. It was definitely very difficult and I want to practice more and get better at it. I was definitely inspired by Stacey Marie MUA as well as P. 
Kiki Louise, I believe it is, Makeup Academy. That's where I grabbed all my inspirations from. So definitely go check them out on Instagram if you're looking for any inspiration. They're going viral right now, so you probably know who they are. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. But I'm really bomb in real life. <laughs> mm-hmm.